this book is titled, it's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. Some inscriptions, can't, can't read it. It's some form of Elvish. It's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. Change of courage, all first hand. He speaks to you about his life, the setbacks, and the finish lines. The battles and the victories. Mitchell's message addresses the human spirit and his yearning for survival. He focuses on the positives of change, taking responsibility, and the proven results himself. He can no longer walk, so he learned to fly. Against all odds, W. Mitchell has faced some of life's insurmountable challenges. A man so passionately caring and driven, he does not understand the meaning of giving up. I've watched Mitchell speak from Sydney, Australia to Dallas, Texas, and he is as amazing off the platform as he is on. Mitchell is a genuine article and lives his message in everyday life. His message is universal and timeless. Read this book and you will overcome defeat in your own life. He's a doer. Jonah Savage. Oh, you can... Uh, illegible. Some form of knowledge. It's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. Some person's... Signature. Let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Nothing splendid has ever been achieved except by those who believe that something inside them was superior to circumstances. If you're familiar with me, and with my life's work, then you know that it is my aim to enable you to experience life at its fullest, to realize your own unique form of greatness. We all have a sleeping giant within us. Each of us has a talent, a gift, a bit of genius just waiting to be tapped. I have recognized the power that we have to change virtually anything and everything in our lives. The amazing thing is that the resources that we need to turn our dreams into reality lie within us. It doesn't matter what advantages or disadvantages you were born with, it's not the conditions or the externals of your life that will determine your destiny. What matters is what decisions you make about how your life is going to be. The decisions that will write the story of your destiny. By making decisions about what to do with your life, you will have become a living example of the unlimited power of the human spirit. You and I can make our lives one of those inspiring examples. How? Simply by making decisions today about how we're going to live in the years to come. W. Mitchell has refused to be overcome by two life-threatening and two life-changing accidents. Disastrous events which, if given the power, could have ruled his life to its end. Instead, he decided to make the tragedies that befell him a starting point. When he says, it's not what happens to you in your life, it's what you do about it, you can be sure that he is a living, breathing example of that message to us. I believe that your desire to expand your own life has brought you to this book about Mitchell. Your belief <coughs> that your own life has the potential to be so much more. I have been inspired by this story myself because I believe that Mitchell embodies those traits that are required for us to rise above whatever life hands us. Um, life is what you make it, they say. You may doubt this, if only Mitchell, you might say. If only I were not so old, so broke, so uneducated. If only my wife, or husband, boss, or kids would support me in my quest for happiness, I got a raw deal, Mitchell. To which I simply say, look at me. My face looks like a badly made leather quilt. It has inspired children to chant, monster, monster, as I pass. I have no fingers. I cannot walk. 
Furthermore, all of this did not happen at once. I did not have the luxury of one great grand accident to get over. First, I was burned nearly to a crisp. There is probably not one person in ability who has endured more physical pain than I have. Then, four years later, in an entirely separate accident, I was paralyzed from the waist down. The average person might call me the unluckiest man alive, but what I hope to do in this book is to teach you not to think like the average person. This book, part autobiography, part self-help lesson, aims to show you that nothing, absolutely nothing, is absolute. Your life is entirely what you decide it is. It is your spaceship. You're up, you're down. The universe starts in your head and spreads out into the world. Change what happens in your head, and the universe changes. Really, I hope to be your touchstone. Your route to a new mind. Symbols are potent. The Liberty Bell conjures the concept of freedom in a single glowing image. The Taj Mahal so shows us, at a glance, the depth and extravagance of human love. The Golden Gate Bridge, in my adopted hometown of San Francisco, is a testament to engineering ingenuity that speaks volumes. I want to be a symbol for you. With my scarred face, my fingerless paws, my wheelchair, and real, genuine happiness in my heart, I want to be your mental image of the power of the human mind to transcend circumstances. As I say in my speeches, it's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. When you feel you have met an insurmountable obstacle, I want you to think of me. Then say to yourself, if he can be successful, I can. What kind of success are we talking about? I can rattle off my resume stuff. Uh, millionaire, mayor, member of many boards of directors, environmental leader, media personality, political commentator, commercial pilots, in-demand public speaker, even river rafter and skydiver. But these may not be, probably are not, your measures of success. Nevertheless, nonetheless, whatever you want, you can achieve it just as I have. You can because you are not that different from me. I don't have any special powers or any magical gifts of birth that has allowed me to create my own happiness in the face of trials. I am no stronger or smarter than the average person. I am a long way from a saintly guy. In fact, one of the secrets I'll reveal is that being pushy and even obnoxious at the right times has been crucial to my success. Really, the only difference between you and me at the moment is that I had the good fortune to learn a few important points along the way, both before and after my injuries, that helped me immeasurably. In this book, I will pass them along to you. It is a burden. If they have kept me happy, imagine what they will do for you. It's heavy. Have a great life. You can have a great life too.